Hey everybody, welcome back again. Right, here's one of the seats. <clears throat> now, a lot of you have said, how do I do it? Right, the first thing I do, check to make sure there's no repairs to be done. Like there, there's a little nick there. Now, there's a choice on different ways of doing this. You can use a glue, which would be, you know, movable, so it ain't like a solid glue. Like a silicon type so it can move if you understand what I mean so it's flexible or you could use a lever filler if you want to now the best way of doing this is to give this seat a really good clean first of all clean it all down <clears throat> like I said check your repairs where you need repairs to so you make a note of it then get some sandpaper some wet and dry sandpaper very fine just rub it over lightly once you've done that all over the seat, give it another really good clean all round everywhere. And the stuff I've been using is this stuff. Now, this is expensive on eBay. This is anywhere ranging up from about five pounds upwards. But that's if you want to buy it from eBay. I would recommend not. I would recommend you go around some of your shops and look around and see what you can find. Now this one will do lever vinyl and fabric and believe you me this does work I've been sat in the back of that car in the back of the room with those seats on taking and doing the bolts and, take, and doing it my ass has been rubbing across it all and it's all flexing it's all doing what it's meant to do it's not wearing off it's not coming off all of my strips of my ass so it looks like I shit myself so it's all fine so <clears throat> it's, it's a very reasonably good mink it's good it's good it's good stuff but you don't get a lot in a can it's only a 200 mil can you don't get a lot but if you're looking for an easy way of doing it and a cheaper way well I don't know if it's cheaper but if you're looking for an easier way of doing it that's I'd say that's about, probably about the easiest way of doing it and uh, it really does transform the interior and make it look a lot more better but don't forget you got your other bits and pieces on your seat you might have to take off like bits like this I mean I gotta get that headrest off I mean for some reason I've undone the screw at the back but it's being stiff as hell to come up so I might have to squirt some oil down in there to try and let it lubricate in for a bit and then try and lift it off that way we'll get it around a bit but, uh, yeah it's just being a bit of a pain in the arse but yeah, that's about it. That's about all I can tell you. Like I said, clean it all first. Flatten it down with a little bit of sandpaper, just to not nothing harsh. Just say about I don't know, twelve hundred, eight hundred, wet and dry, something like that. And just give it a, a little rub all over the best you can. I mean, get into where you can. Just go careful with your threads, because you can rip the tops of your threads off, and then your interior will start falling apart. So just go careful in places. Don't have to go mad. But like I said, there's a couple of places that will need repair. I got one just there and a little bit on the piping just there. Just needs doing. And once you've painted it all in the colour you want, you don't notice any of that. You don't see any of it. But uh, yeah. So there we are. I'll come back to you when this is all brown. Hello everybody, welcome back. Okay, youngster is vacuuming out the car. So, what we got left to take off is the two door cards, the glove boxes. We're going to take all that off in a little while, get them painted, or dyed, or whatever you want to call it. We're going to put the side mouldings back in on the, on the sides there, get the seat belts all bolted back up. We've got the driver's seat all done, ready to go in. The passenger seat still needs doing. Uh, the driver's seat took the biggest part of the day up to do so we've still got plenty to do at the moment so this video has been broken up into about so many days so right I'm gonna let youngster carry on with the Tell him what you're doing, you dumbass. That's the tripod job. 
Yeah, it is. It was before. Okay everybody, right, we're all stripped out. All the little panels down there are gone. Took all the door handles off. The door cards are ready to come off. I'm just gonna leave them on for now. I'm just gonna concentrate, get the seats. And those bits and pieces up there done. And then they got the glove boxes to come off, but I'll do them last. I'll just get all the important bits done first. Wow. Time consuming. And I gotta get that black dirty black stain off that carpet and then give the carpets a really good clean see that's what I mean by it. it's like the carpets are a bit of a mix match in here I mean this is like if you look at it it's, it's, it is a brown it is a brown carpet but over here it's not brown it's a lighter color so <clears throat> I think somebody in the past put new ones in here but just left the original carpets here. Thought, yeah, that'll do. I mean, it looks all right. Yeah, it do. I mean, it's just it's, at the end of the day, like I said, it's my car, and I'm just giving it the best I can, just to give it a tidy up, so it looks a lot more better to get in and out of. And then I'd crack on afterwards and do the bodywork. I don't know if I'm going to do the bodywork this year or not. I've got the maxi to concentrate on. If I got time I'll quickly give this one a flatten down even if I'm just spraying set loose instead of two pack two pack takes ages to flipping fart around with set loose is just a lot quicker it's 50 50 shove it in the gun spray the bloody thing two packs of pain in the ass takes ages to dry over there Sorry, it's a lady across the road. She's looking for a dog. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, all right. Well, let's uh, crack on and uh, start doing some more work.
too long now so we're gonna like break it up into probably three videos so we're gonna get the second one on tonight and because we've still got the door cards to do on the front and the door handles to do and the day has just gone by and I've had other little things to do as well but at the moment we've got most of the interior back in we've got door handles to put on winders to put on all sorts of bits and pieces left to put on and um, like I said time is just flying by and I've got other things to do at the moment as well so all I can say is a big thank you to all the new subscribers all your comments and your thumbs up and everything like that it's brilliant I'm glad you're all supporting the channel and stuff like that uh, we just need to make this channel grow really just make it you know get out there and get a bit more I mean we've got two cars on, on the go at the moment projects we've got this one and the Maxi which is being done and um, all I can say is thank you very much please like subscribe comment down below I'll comment back as quickly as I can and that's about it so thank you very much bye bye